Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, we are going to talk about advertising slogans and one that is really big in my life right now is I'm a big kid now. Anybody know what that goes to? Hopefully you all just said pull ups and uh, that is in my life because I'm starting potty training Brinley today. So that has been quite the adventure for us. We uh, have uh, been trying to enforce the idea that she's a big kid and that it's exciting and that she gets candy when she goes pee pee on the potty, which she's done one and a half times. Um, the first time she did great, except she cried and now she cries every time she gets near the toilet. It's, it's a struggle over here, but that's okay. We're uh, making it through. So um, let's go ahead and talk about the things we're going to do today, our objectives and get right in. So to do, um, you're going to start by watching this video. You're already doing that. So great job. Um, you're going to make sure you participate in the March 27th discussion board uh, that is uh, happening after this. And then you're going to submit the creativity and truth in advertising assignment that you finished yesterday. I'll be grading those um, today. Those are due today. So objectives. After watching this video and completing your assignments, you will... Um, you will have analyzed some advertising slogans and you will understand the effectiveness of advertising slogans. So let's dive right in. Um, what, what do they put into slogans? Why do we use slogans? What's important about them? Um, first of all, they're meant to set apart a uh, company or a uh, group. So um, that's important because they help to make them stand out. They're typically defined in five words or less. I'm a big kid now, the happiest place on earth. Just do it. You know, there's there's tons you can do it. Um, typically, they're going to give information about the company. Um, so that uh, will tell you a little bit about what the company is doing with the um, M&Ms melt in your mouth, not your hands. Um, they're telling you that you're supposed to eat them and that it should melt in your mouth. Um, so you're thinking about that. You're also, they're also gonna reinforce brand identity. So they will uh, help your brand be something that uh, people easily remember. That there's a lot of competition with brands out there in the world. So having them, uh, that identity reinforced is something that's huge. Um, they should be straightforward and simple. You want people to remember it. Um, and they can't do that if, um, they have to think about what it means. So if you make it too complex, uh, people will get um, confused and people won't um, people won't remember you. So you want it to be straightforward and simple. They can use humor um, only if it lends itself to Ren. You wouldn't want to do it for something serious like a funeral home. You wouldn't want to put humor in your thing. Um, but um, other people do... Um, use that. One that I found clever was by a newspaper company called the Daily Aspen News. And it was, if you don't want it printed, don't let it happen, which is pretty funny because like, you know, there's a lot of dumb things. Uh, we live in Florida. So there's all those Florida man got arrested for um, at like stories. And obviously if you don't want it to happen, you probably shouldn't be doing it. Um, I think the funniest one for me was the guy that had a little too much to drink and decided he was going to break into the alligator farm and got bit by alligators. That happened like over the summer, I think. Hopefully I'll remember that story. But um, that uh, makes sense for their slogan. Um, they need to be honest. People um, won't depend on you if you're not truthful. So um, as Christians, we are especially called to be honest. But um, as companies, uh, without ethics, and without honesty, people won't be able to trust you. Um, I'm sure you've all heard of Red Bull. Uh, that's a pretty popular company. Um, their slogan is, anybody know? Red Bull gives you wings, which is, um, you know, just a silly little thing pointing to the fact that it makes you crazy and hyper and excited. Um, they actually got sued in 2014 and paid up to $13 million, um, $10 to every person in the U.S. who had drank it since 2002. And that was because some guy was like, well, you told me it was going to give me wings and I've been drinking it for years and it didn't give me wings. So now they actually have a disclaimer with it. So that was something silly, but they were not honest and they got in trouble with that. Um, Splenda actually had one and they got sued for it in 2007. It said made from sugar. Well, it's not made from sugar. It's made from weird particles. Probably don't drink it or use it, but um, 
they were asking equal who's another sugar substitute company was asking for 200 million dollars we don't uh the exact amount they got was not found but um so using honesty is not only good for your ethics but it also helps their bank accounts um using emotion is something that's good with uh slogans uh the company l'oreal has the one that says because you're worth it so they make women feel empowered and loved and they're worth it so they need this makeup um dove has the real beauty campaign so they show hundreds of types of women and men and show that beauty doesn't just have to look one certain way and so that appeals to emotion as well and the last thing it should be timeless so um think about things like got milk that's one that was uh produced by the California Milk Association um, years and years ago, and it still stands. Um, have it your way from Burger King. It's something that um, they try to showcase, and people even turn that joke around and say, this isn't Burger King, um, but, you know, um, those are things that are timeless. The happiest place on earth, Disney's. Um, obviously, people like to use that one for a joke sometimes. I have a few memes, pictures of my girls, like, screaming and crying at Disney for silly reasons, but... Um, is something that's timeless. So we're going to do a quick little quiz and see what you know about memes. So the first one is nothing runs like a, anybody know? The answer is deer. And that was for John Deere. All right. Who says eat fresh? So weird. Usually people are yelling it out. Subway. Just do it. Nike. Oh, I knew that one. I knew that without even waiting. Melts in your mouth, not your hands. We just talked about this. That's one is for M&M's. With a name like blank, it has to be good. Uh, that one is Smuckers. Um, that one's kind of an older one, but you might not know it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Oh man, I can't believe I just sang that on here. <laughs> um, that one's McDonald's. It's finger looking good. And you're holding that fried stuff and taking the bites of it. Then you have to lick your fingers afterwards. I don't really eat a lot of fried chicken, but Publix has the best fried chicken in my opinion. But that one's for KFC. Be all you can be. Anybody know? The Army. They have actually removed all their recruiting to online now. Who knew? Watch out, boys. They might get you. Although it would not be a bad thing. You know, your mom must be really sad, though. Save money, live better. That belongs to Walmart. Solutions for a smart planet. That is IBM. Live in your world. Play in ours. That's PlayStation. I really forgot that one. That's silly. Alrighty, share moment, share life. This one is kind of an older one. Um, it was one that was big though. That one's Kodak. Um, the happiest place on earth. We just saw that one. Disney. When you care enough to send the very best. That would be Hallmark. Open happiness. That's Coca-Cola. I agree with that. Pepsi is, ooh, Coke is delicious. Um, think different. You guys should know that because of our school, Apple. We're an Apple school. And enjoy. Anybody know what that goes to? That is also Coca-Cola. Haha, uh -huh, tried to trick you. Um, you can enjoy Coca-Cola. Um, so um, with all of these slogans, these are ones that are timeless. They are, they've stood the test of time. There's something that uh, points to what the company is. And um, I'm loving it. doesn't say anything about hamburgers, but people know that goes with McDonald's because you're loving their food or whatever. Um, just do it. Same thing with Nike. It doesn't say anything about athletic apparel, but it inspires you and it motivates you to just do it. Um, so, all right. So what's your assignment for today? You are going to write on the discussion board. You're going to find two slogans you like and two slogans you dislike and post them to the discussion board without putting which ones you like and which ones you dislike. So let's say you like, you can't use the ones I've already used. So you need to I'll put that picture up on the thing um, you if you like one for Adidas and you like one for Reebok and you don't like I don't know Converse and you don't like kids ones put them up there but don't say which one is which then you're gonna comment on at least two other students posts and out of the slogans they posted you're gonna write which one you like the most and which one you like the least and explain why so maybe somebody put um, the slogan for, ah, it's funny that I can't, oh, I just moved that. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, maybe somebody put the slogan for Huggies. I'm a big kid now. Um, I'm lifting up slogans. 
Uh, so they put the breakfast of champions Wheaties. Maybe you like that one the most. Um, say why you like that one the most. Maybe it's why the one you like the least. Say why you like that. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, also, don't forget to submit the assignment you guys did yesterday. And I hope you have an awesome Friday and an amazing weekend. And uh, I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.